Hello and welcome by the Arcad Saga. My name is Ilkin Liersma and today I have an unboxing video to do for you, uh, for us. Um, but before I do, I th when you are watching this video, it's for me it's tomorrow, Saturday, I will be uh, on my way to uh, Landsbergen uh, again, the big uh, Arcad nursery in the Netherlands. Maybe I'm already there, so uh, while you're watching this, I'm watching new plans as well. Probably going to buy a few more. Who knows? We will see. But uh, it's such a beauty uh, to be there, to be to have the ability to uh, watch behind the scenes. So I probably have a, a wonderful day uh, there again, and I hope you will too. But today I have an unboxing, like I said, and this uh, this plant I ordered uh, well actually from the from the man who uh, also uh, sold me the uh, Ivanagar Golden Elf where I did an unboxing on, on my channel as well, a very special, uh, special plant. But I had a few more, it, I think it's about a year ago when I uh, received that plant. Uh, but I few that, uh, well, ex actually one was on my wish list. There was one that was uh, at the open house at Landsbergen last time as well. I did get a white version, there was also a red version that I left there, but he bought it and he had two, so he uh, had that for sale again. So I, uh, via, uh, via, via, I get <laughs> the plant that I liked uh, back then at the, uh, the open house as well. It should be in this box as well. And another one that is just having, uh, has beautiful yellow, yellow greenish uh, with white blooms, if I was correct. He had a picture of it and I thought, yeah, that one is very beautiful as well. So that should be in my box. So are you excited to see what is in the box? I am, I am, absolutely. So let's open the box. I only opened the tape and get the uh, address information off. That's all. So uh, whoop, I have an itchy uh, nose today. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is cymbidium. Yes, it's cymbidium. <laughs> Had some blooms, but they are going over. And yeah, they are not uh, not as nice anymore. So this is a uh, not a cymbidium. I'm not a huge big fan of cymbidiums, but this one uh, was so beautiful. So I thought, yeah, I need to uh, give this a uh, a try, and we will see how it goes. But I think this is a miniature uh, version, so that's better because it's so uh, the cymbidiums do take up quite a lot of space. And therefore, I like my other orchids a little bit better. So therefore, I'm not a big fan of cymbidiums. But uh, let's get it out of the bag. And have a closer look. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Oh, it's currently working on at least two new growths. As I can see. So that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm in frame, luckily. <laughs> So we have a uh, new growth here, and in the back we have another one. Uh, I think, yeah, this is also a new growth. Let me see, this one, but this is a little bit more mature than the other ones. Mature than the other ones. Which leaves is in a way. <laughs> I hope you can see it, it's here underneath my thumb. So three uh, directions of growth, that's beautiful. Yeah, this is a miniature one, as you can see, and it has some uh, solution on it, some oil solution, I th think. Uh, it could be aphids. I think it's aphids. Well, I have them, but not here, so I will uh, move this uh, in uh, into my greenhouse. I don't have aphids yet in my orchid room, so I try to keep it like this. I will be right back. Let's put it uh, outside in... Uh, then we will have another look inside of the box. So I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you what I saw. Why I know it's uh, he had aphids or it was in uh, in uh, around aphids. Not a big deal. It's a wonderful seller, a great man. It happens to all of us. As you know, I have them, and they are not the end of the world, but they are a little bit. Um, inconvenient you keep uh, need to spray uh, them at least I do with alcohol and they keep coming back so that's uh, the n uh, not so nice thing <laughs> but I will show it in you uh, in a few minutes what I saw and when I'm pretty sure it was uh, aphids so let's have a, a look at the Lacoste maybe you did notice it or you rem remembered it but uh, yeah Lacoste likes to drop the leaves 
that's not the end of the world uh, as well it's just what it does but um yeah i had a beautiful white one with nine spikes in total just from one bulb it's unbelievable so yeah there was a red one basically the same shape uh, also the size of the blooms but it was a wet, uh, red one and i thought at the end of the day i have so many orchids let's i'm only going to buy uh, the white one and then i actually saw him uh, walking around with the red one so it was like yeah at least that one is gone and now i uh, did uh, sell it from him so that's uh, kind of nice i think i'm not sure if it's the exact same plant he has two but um you never know right and it's a little bit damp but um and i don't see new growths yet yeah it's a little bit damp but this is the uh lacoste. and it grows similar to a uh, to the caracidae i uh, have been told by uh Michael McCarthy so um, yeah it's it's now in a sort of dormant state and mine is too so that's uh, that's nice but uh, because of the uh, aphids I don't see marks of aphids yes I see marks here as well um, I'm going to put it uh, in the inside of the greenhouse be right back <laughs> so I'm back for the uh, last plant and this one was on my wish list uh, it's very, fairly ex expensive if you uh, try to get it online and it's a very small plant and it takes years to get bigger I think at least what I saw in, uh, on the internet but he had it for sale for not even half of the price as the uh, very short young pl young plants that I saw online so I thought yeah I need to have it it's this is the time it's a warm grower so I don't know how well it will do I think it will be okay but we will try it it's the uh, Encyclica, Encyclica Africana. I hope and I did pronounce that right. Probably not completely, but look at the canes. So this is a, a very nice uh, plant. And um, yeah, just a beautiful, reasonable price. So I thought, yeah, I need, to, need to, to have this one. That cane is fantastic. Beautiful growing on. It's very strong, very big. So yeah, I hope I can uh, do it justice as well <laughs> and uh, at least uh, get it to grow uh, as good as he did. And he had two of these, so that's why he uh, was uh, willing to sell one. But yeah, beautiful uh, big orchid. And do we have trace of aphids here? Not that I know of yet. But uh, anyhow, I will uh, put it uh, in the greenhouse as well. And we will have a last look at the plants and i will show you how i uh, know that it's uh, that it uh, was affected uh, infected with aphids in fact it is very uh, heavy words but that's how we call it i think so uh, let's have a visit, uh, visit at the greenhouse so here are the plants and that uh, africana Cyclia Africana, I needed to lean it uh, towards the, uh, the shelving uh, I have going on here because it's so top heavy. But can you see? Beautiful long canes. I think I'm, I'm uh, very lucky because otherwise, um, in the end, it, like I said, well, they have maybe this side of canes, but nothing uh, larger than that. Probably even a little less larger. But these canes are beautiful. So, yeah, I'm going to try to. Uh, Get it uh, into self-watering, of course, and then uh, grow it uh, up here next to this uh, very big cattleya there in that corner. I hope it will fit with the canes, and otherwise I need to uh, lower the shelf a little bit and everything underneath it. I have some space here, so I can do that. But uh, yeah, that's a very sunny uh, corner of my greenhouse. It gets sun in the morning from there, from above, and then later on in the day it will get sun, sun, sun. So I... Uh, I I'm expecting that that is the best uh, part of this greenhouse. And I, uh, as you can see, there's still some space. I uh, did uh, leave this space empty for an Encyclia Africana. So I'm very happy that I uh, found it. Uh, and uh, like I said, a beautiful one. So here are the uh, other two, the Cymbidium and the Lycasta. But the Lycasta will go next to my white one. It is this one. As you can see, also these leaves are getting uh, discolored and will be... Uh, dropped off pretty soon mine looks a little bit dehydrated i did water it but it was a little bit dry so uh, 
that wasn't uh, a wonderful idea, but for the rest it's still uh, resting, like uh, the new one as well, but you can see the bulbs are uh, better better on uh, this red one than on the white one my own so yeah i need to learn <laughs> to uh, grow them better okay the cymbidium um it obviously is a beautiful looking plant but what i did see first it would look like oil on the leaves like my oil solution well it's not actually my oil solution i uh, copied the uh, miss arc girl and I think she copied another one as well. It doesn't matter that much, but it looks like I thought, oh, he maybe uses the same spray. And then I saw these little Dutch, Dutch of, of yeah, stuff. It actually is, let me see. I don't know if you can see it a little bit wide. It almost does look, look probably like scale some sort of scale but because of the oil around it i'm pretty sure it's aphids and aphids do shed and that's the point and i and you always see it on top of the leaf because the aphids like to hide underneath but they are now gone maybe he did get them off and that's okay of course and once again it's not a big problem it happens and and i have them all the time in my greenhouse these days but that's how you can see it so you have this little white stuff but also that oil on the leaves that's the residue of the aphids so yeah i will wash my hands <laughs> and they shed so uh then you get this as well let me see if i can have a um, a sample in my greenhouse well i have here one next to it and i see, didn't notice it but this one has here on the canes and on the leaf, you see, aphids. And I sprayed the, the flower spike. You can see a heck of a lot. And I try to watch my orchids every single day. And suddenly, at, at, at least it feels that suddenly they are there. And I keep spraying them and spraying them. And I need to spray them again. But yeah, let, let's look here. There's one walking. I don't know if you can see it there right above my finger. Yeah, there it is. And do you see that white stuff around it? That's from his friends from up here. They was, were shedding and it will fall on the leaves. So therefore, you probably always, most of the time you always see this on top of a leaf. Oily stuff. I don't see the oil stuff in this case, but I definitely see the, the skin, the old skin of the aphids. So that is how you can recognize them. I learned the hard way, of course, <laughs> but yeah, and you will spray it uh, with uh, just alcohol solution and it will get uh, rid of the aphids. But, and I have some uh, garlic within it, within it as well, but only the alcohol will uh, do as well. It will kill the ev evaporation of the alcohol, will, uh, that process will kill the aphids quite rapidly but they like I said they always come back it's crazy because the adults can fly and I don't know where they hide so but yeah anyhow and it's a little bit messy some old leaves I need to clean up but uh, yesterday it did fall over because it's such a big dendrobium it's a little bit top heavy <laughs> anyhow it happens and it doesn't matter that much but I need to clean up uh, soon but I am very busy so I didn't have the time yet Anyhow, so I have three beautiful new uh, additions to uh, add to my collection. I'm very happy, especially with this one. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, you guys, uh, I hope you uh, find this uh, video nice. I think most of you do because I do get quite some views on uh, for my uh, at least for my uh, channel on uh, the unboxing. So, uh, thank you for uh, for watching them. And as usual, if you have any questions uh, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. And uh, for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.